Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online. I am Dr. Trupti and here we are uh, ready for our next session which we are been doing since last a uh, few days. So we have taken up session f uh, with respect to MCQs for the latest examination which is going to be conducted from 6th of December. So just a day uh, ahead you have your examination. So we have started with all the MCQs and in this today's session we are doing previous year latest cycle questions with respect to the unit information and communication technology. Yesterday we have completed the marathon of higher education system. You can just visit to the channel and look at the uh, the questions. As you all know that we are daily live at 9.30 p.m. until your examination, these sessions will keep on coming. So make sure that you are repeating your, uh, sorry, you are revising your uh, topics very well and getting ready for your examination. So in order to have a quick uh, glance, we have a quick revision question bank which is consisting of 4,500 MCQs, updated MCQs till June 2023. Unit wise, if you see 500 questions, we are covering short notes are there, uh, repeated MCQs are there. This is all just to make sure that you target 80 plus in your paper one with a fee cost of rupees 699. We have our contact details reflected on the screen. You can get in touch with us with the help of these contact details. Students who are new to the channel can visit the channel, subscribe the channel so that you can get the notification. And students who have decided to start preparing from now onwards for your next cycle can do the same. We also have a paper one complete course for uh, December 2023 as well as for the coming cycle consisting of daily live lectures, full syllabus notes, 60 plus mock tests, uh, question banks. This all is available at a fee cost of rupees 20 percent discount that is rupees 3600. You can also avail this facility with the help of your uh, with the help of an app which is provided by Global Online. So we have a Global Online app which you can get with the help of Google Play Store. Once you download the app, you have to uh, make sure that you registered yourself on the registered mobile number. You get into the course, you have certain demo sessions. But in case if you buy the course, you will get an access to all the information in the form of folders by the respective faculty members uh, with respect to, you know, with respect to the theory lectures, evaluation, test notes mock test and mcqs lecture so this is all available with a fee cost of you know what i have told you earlier you can also get in touch with our uh, team uh, with the help of these whatsapp number who will help you to ensure that you know you have the best what is needed right so yes now let's come to the question answer part we are ready for question answers as i said we are going to talk about ict today so we will be having little bit fastest you know way so that we complete maximum amount of questions today so which of the following statement with respect to the email uh, security best describes email encryption so we are talking about the statement which is best describing email encryption uh, this is a self-reflecting program that can be spread by an email that disguises the content of email messages in order to protect the sensitive information uh, consists of sending numerous duplicate mails to the to same email address or the email header is changed so that the message appears to have come from someone else. So what is that special you know uh, feature which talks about the security uh, describing the email encryption so it mentions what it mentions about your email encryption so which of those statements stands to be correct so let's see yes from the given statements if you see the statements the statement talks which talks about email security best describe the encryption is about is with respect to the statement the statement says that the disguise content okay of email messages in order to protect the sensitive information so basically it is it is indicating what it is indicating the content the disguise content in order just to ensure that the sensitive information is protected and that's what the statement is right with respect to email security right Coming to next question, next we question have we have a statement questions. We have two statements and you are supposed to talk about whether the statement is true or whether the statement is false. I hope everyone has joined. I hope everything is very clear, crystal clear so that we can go ahead and start the session. If any doubt, any concern, please make sure that you are putting it in the chat box. Otherwise, we are free to go ahead 
and make sure that you are covering lot of the uh, topics here okay so let's see what is the next question about so the next question is talking with respect to a music file which stored okay which is stored in mp3 format would take up more memory than the small clip which is stored in wave format right it is saying that statement 2 is saying that music files stored in mp3 format are of better quality than that which are stored in the wave format so these two statements are given with respect to the uh, the the files okay and you need to answer that which of them stands to be right okay which of them stands to be correct so a music clip stored in mp3 format would be more uh, take up more memory if it is if the clip is stored in wave format or music st file stored in mp3 format are of better quality than the files which are stored in wave format now this uh, formatting also i have sorry the files we have started in ict uh, theory lecture with respect to this there are a lot of questions coming up so you should make sure that these files you know uh, especially the terminologies the uh, abbreviations for ict is very important and these are all factual so students who are not from these background make needs to make sure they are minutely understanding the topic very well so a music clip stored in mp3 por format would definitely not take up more memory when stored in wave format so this statement stands to be false at the same time the quality of the file okay with respect to mp3 or wave uh, wave format will not you know differ so the statement that is sta sorry with respect to the statement both the statement stands to be what both the statement stands to be false so we have the right answer is option number 2 because none of the statement whether it is about memory or whether it is about quality stands to be correct right okay coming to question number 4 everyone now we have i have also taught you web 1.0 to 3. Point. i have taken all these three you can refer to my uh, theory class so which of the statements are accurate so they have given certain statements to you and those statements they have given the list okay so we have below the list also of the options which statement is accurate whether web 2.0 is a simple static website without interaction whether it brings people closer whether it brings machine closer using information so which of the statements stands to be correct with respect to web okay now let's see uh, okay so let's see quickly which of the statement with respect to web whether it is simple website without interaction whether it is getting people closer or whether it is using the information so from the given option that is option number 4 it talks about what it talks about the web the sorry uh here no little bit of uh, sorry here this is the numbering has changed over here so it is only c okay so it is web 3.0 brings machine closer using the information is the only statement which stands to be what which stands to be correct hence the right option for the four is option number four right only c option now coming to match the following now we have output devices now here also there is you know uh, devices are given and you have to match the devices with the given options with is the description okay so now options are given below the question is in front of you sorry uh yes just a second yes so the question is in front of you you have to just match the options properly yeah we have just went little bit yeah coming to this just a second yes
so yes, yes we'll just we have this devices and the description okay so we have the description that is you know we have inkjet printer lcd screen we have your uh, laser printer okay so let's see how many of them so i have given you the description the, uh, the device the description and the options are also clearly visible so whether it is inkjet printer what it is whether it is talking about the display okay lcd screen whether it is talking about the flat planet displays of light emitting whether it is talking about led screen droplets of ink and prop which are propelled out of the paper laser printer which is electrically charged powder ink is transferred onto the paper so yes you need to make sure that you are matching the pairs very well and coming to the right answer yes waiting for the right answer everyone yes quickly fourth uh, is done We are at question number five, everyone. So let's see what is the right answer for the match the following, which is given over here. So if you see match the pair properly, yes. So if you see match the pair, so when we talk about inkjet printer, okay. So when you look at inkjet printer, definitely it is the droplets of ink which are propelled onto the paper. So A is what? A is three. So if you see none of the options, you know A is three. So your right option stands to be four, but it is safer side. It's better to have you know a quick uh, clarity on all the options. LCD screen. So when we talk about the LCD screen. It is the display which uses, you know, the liquid crystals. LED screens it talks about the light emitting, whereas laser printer it talks about what it talks about the electrically charged powder ink which is transferred onto the paper. Inkjet it droplets, whereas laser printer it is electrically charged. So option number four stands to be what? Option number four stands to be your right option. Is it clear? Okay. Now coming to next uh, set of paper quickly so that we have lot of time to get more questions. So now we have the first. You know we are taking the March 2023 paper only. Shift wise I have bifurcated the papers also. So we are talking about what we are talking about the paper where the first question is which of the following best describes web web 3.0 okay or 3.0 so it's a user generated online business whether it is based on intelligent applications collaboration and social media it refers to static states based information websites so when we talk about web 3.0 What are the features which are the best suited features, or the best described features from the given video? Yes, students, uh, maybe a little bit of nervousness as your exams are nearby, or a little bit of uh, anxiety level may be high, but just just keep yourself calm because that's what is needed now. Whatever you have done, just have you know, be confident of yourself, revise properly, have sleep, eat well. And make sure that whatever you are concentrating and revising at the last moment of time is properly uh, fit in your mind very well, so that you can ensure that you are cracking and clearing your examination. Okay. So when we talk about the Web 3.0, it is basically talking about what it is talking about. The applications which use natural languages for processing. So it is basically talking about the applications which is which is using natural language, right? Now yes, coming to the next is very easy question, but still, okay, this question same type of question is repeated, but we'll have a detailed analysis of this question. Now what they are asking is, in context of ICT, which of the following statements are true or is true? So in email system, BCC allows the sender to send a message to conceal the receptant entered in the BCC field from the other receptants. Phishing is a malicious program installed on a system that stays concealed, avoid avoiding detection. Spamming is an attempt to acquire sensitive information for malicious reason by masquerading as a trustworthy entity. Now you need to choose a right statement from this. Okay. Now please try to remember. Now see in this context, now they have given all three different statements. Where they are talking about email, where they are talking about phishing, where they are talking about spamming. So they have included your virus also. They have included your, uh, you know, basic computers also. So you need to answer is out of all this, which of the statements are true? You need to come to a statement which is talking about what true, true. So when we look at the question number two, okay, let me check. 
quickly see ideally in you know I, in fact i am giving you double time to look at the questions within 30 seconds you should be able to do the question and come to the answer also because the, the reason i am telling 30 seconds so that you can utilize your maximum time for data interpretation as well as your uh, comprehension uh, part um, so this is very important that these questions which are very factual which are very straight forward should be answered very well so we are talking about yes so yeah, we are talking about the question that is question number 2 so if you look at question number 2 option number 3 that is c okay stands what only the first statement is correct that is in an email system bcc allows the sender of a message to conceal the recipient entered in the bcc from the other receptions that is field from, from the other reception so the phishing and spamming does does not only have this amount of functions or role it is more beyond that so these statements stands to be what it stands to be false right coming to question number 3 everyone now we have again a statement question and statements are given and options are given so the statement 1 and 2 it talks about the mainframe computers okay have smaller internal memories than the desktop computers and then statement 2 says that spreadsheets and word processor are examples of application software so still now you know you used to give this questions in a different way this time in this latest cycle they gave it in a different way so let's see how many of you are able to do it we are talking about what we are talking about mainframe computers which are you know having smaller internal memories so mainframe computers do they have smaller internal memories definitely not so statement 1 stands to be false whereas we have the second statement spreadsheets and word processor are they application software yes very true they are an application software so your statement number 1 stands to be false whereas your statement number 2 stands to be true okay so this is what you know the statement is so in statements you don't have to worry because it is just about you know it is about true or false you need to highlight whether it is true or whether it is false same way you have a next question but now see next question is not a statement question it is some uh, concept based question so when we talk about ict is used to control and monitor everyday activities right which of the following activities are mostly likely most likely to use sensors okay um so now let's see okay let's see now quickly yes bit easier it is question number 4 we are talking about the activities right Now it is telling that which of the following activities are mostly likely to use the sensors. So which option stands to be right? Okay, designing a master slide for presentation definitely not. Activating a alarm yes. This is one of the sensor where alarms you know will uh, give an intimation or information. Then we have the next is opening automatic door definitely not. creating a spreadsheet uh, sorry opening automatic doors yes sorry so it is talking about what opening so it is talking about the sensing creating a spreadsheet definitely not so b and c so option number 2 stands to be what option number 2 stands to be your right answer correct okay now we have you know we have question number 5 on the screen so question number 5 it is talking about what let's see what is question number 5 talking about they are talking about the statements you need to uh, identify the statements uh, with respect to computer networks which are true so you need to highlight or you need to underline the statements which are true with respect to computer network so it is an intranet uh, an intranet is a public network the internet is a group of interconnected network extranet is an internal network that can be accessed externally by authorized users so these are the statements which are given you need to identify which statement stands to be true which statements you know are true with respect to computer network so it's not about true or false it is just about the true statements which is basically talking about what which is talking about computer networks okay let's see an internet is internet is a public network internet is an interconnected network extranet is an internal network that can be accessed externally by authorized users so let's see how many of you so that we can go for the next uh, you know uh, set of papers so internet is a public network definitely not 
then we have the next is do you think the internet is a group of interconnected network yes so b is true so wherever we have b we have in a and in 3 and 4 One, three, four. Okay, still let's see. But A is not the answer, so one option gets cancelled, and four option gets cancelled. So ideally, if you see your right answer should be three. But let's still confirm. Let's see the statements also. And an extra net is an internet internal network that can be accessed externally by authorized users. So is it yes? It is one which is right. So option number B and C stands to be right. So option number three. Where B and C are identified, right? Okay. Now, now let's come to the next option. Next question. Next set of questions. So in next set of questions in ICT. So they have given us in ICT one of the following. Okay, pairs of a chromium and its expansion is incompatible. So they have given this a chromium. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Block stands for V Web uh, Logic. It's Web. Okay, it's Web Logic. And VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So one of them is Odd Man Out. So you need to identify which is Odd Man Out. Yes. Let me see how many of you are. Uh, make sure that you are a little bit active. You are getting my voice as echo. Now is it clear? Sorry. Now is it clear? Is the voice clear now? One of you can let me know whether the voice is clear or not. Yes. Uh, I'll be waiting for the uh, reply. Whether the voice is clear right now? Uh, so uh, thank you for bringing it to the notice. Uh, I don't know. In between only, I think some something went wrong. Just let me know whether the voice is clear or not. And yes, uh, I'm waiting for the answers also. So question number one over here, it is talking about incompatibility uh, form. So which is incompatible from the given option? One option is something which is incompatible. So if you see option number C. Okay. See, ISP uh, is Internet Service Provider. URL is Uniform Resource Locator, which is very easy and which is used in lot of answers. Block is V Logic, something which is not in the correct place. And yes, it stands to be what? It stands to be the odd man out. Uh, one of you, just let me know. No. Uh, I hope uh, I don't know because I've tried my level best to check out from all those aspects, but uh, at least. No, it may be a little bit frustrating, irritating, but let's not stop because this is very really important for us. Okay, let's go to the next question. It's talking about a photograph which acquires. Oh, sorry, a photograph which occupies 10 MB of storage. A memory stick with 4 GB capacity can approximately store how much such photographs? Can a uh, how many photographs can be saved with the 4 GB capacity? So 4 GB has a capacity to save how many photographs? 300, 400, or it is 500 or 450. Okay, how many photographs will be uh, you know occupied with the 4 GB capacity? Uh, Whether it is three hundred, whether it is four hundred, whether it is five hundred, or whether it is four fifty. Yes. I'm just trying to make sure that I can fix it out. Uh, side by side, let's go to the question also. So yes, which is talking about what? It is talking about the uh, total photographs will be fit 
and this will be a photograph with 400 in number okay so that is 400 photographs will be uh, a memory stick with 4 gb capacity can store approximately such photographs okay just as yes now let's move to the next question till the time in between i'm trying to sort this out also so we have a statement question okay so let's see what are the statements and then we come to the uh, whether the topics to be highlighted what okay statement 1 talks about you can read and write from ram whereas you can read from rom but you cannot write in rom so here it is telling that ram is read and write and rom is only uh, read statement 2 says that cd uh, rw stands for compact disk rewritable and can be written and modified many times whereas cdr stands for compact compact sorry compact disk disk recordable and r indicates that the disk is recordable only once so the here again a very clear concept of this if it is there you will be able to answer this question so let's see whether the statement 1 uh, is right statement 2 is right or statement 3 is right i hope it is clear i don't know for some it is not clear for some it's clear okay fine so let's not uh, get into all this unless and until you are able to hear me properly that is important okay yes everyone uh, which statement stands to be correct okay yes let's see so coming to the statement yes if you see uh, ram stands for read and write rom stands for only read whereas the full form of the given options are also uh, correct so yes both the statements that is statement 1 and statement 2 stands to be what it stands to be true okay now coming to next question yes let's see what is the next question about okay we'll just take this question so that you can see the entire question properly okay so let's see what the question is using the ribbon in ms word uh, software so we are talking about what we are talking about ms word software so using the ribbon the word count command feature displays the number of words as well as the number of uh, number of in the current document okay so whether it is you know lines whether it is characters whether it is paragraph so what does it features so you have to identify okay yes everyone yes so question number 4 everyone it is talking about you know what does it indicates uh, in the uh, what does this ribbon indicate so question number 4 the ribbon indicates not only the lines the characters but also what it also indicates the paragraph so option number a b and c stands out to be what it stands out to be right okay all the options stands out to be right yes yes option number 4 everyone please option number 4 it indicates you know it indicates it indicates what it indicates your uh words it indicates your lines it indicates your characters and it, it indicates your paragraph right okay now question number 5 okay now let's see what question number 5 is all about so it is talking about web browsers see web browsers you know the question is bit different over here so the web browsers are most of the web browsers are what do they have a home page they have the ability to store the websites do they keep a history of the websites or the ability to go backward and forward to to the websites so what it does it indicates okay um, yes following options which of the following statements are correct with respect to what with respect to the web browsers do they have a home page 
they have the ability to stir the favorite page they can keep a history they can get give the ability to go backward and forward if you are using this you know uh, the frequent use with the computers will help you to answer this question very correctly but still yes let me check how many of you can come to it very correctly so for question number 5 uh, 5 okay which of the options whether it is providing the access to the internet so if you look let me check how many of you are able to answer this question yes very good uh so yes if you look all the options are possible uh web browsers they have a home page they have a favorite website they have a uh, you know websites which are visited by the users they have the ability to go backward as well as they provide internet access also yes very true yes coming to the next question uh, next set of paper let's go to the next set of paper now so yes we have again the now see here we have against how the statement questions are given so the characters a s c i i a character coding scheme is an acronym now this i have taken in my regular uh, uh, normal theory class many of you were you know the, you think that such type of questions may not come now see immediately how they have given the question so they have given a question of binary and of you know the character and 3.37.25 indicates you know uh, what so you need this needs a calculation also and this needs your attention also so so questions which you may take little little bit light can be you know the questions are which are definitely a part of your question paper so yes everyone quickly come to the answer yes waiting for everyone so i'm giving you just bit time so that you can come to the right answer it is conversion of decimal to binary that's what is talking about okay so when we the conver conversion of decimal to binary and what it indicates okay so yes let's see question number 1 everyone so when we talk about the it is so the first question is about the acronym second is the conversion of decimal to bi binary so yes when we look at these questions uh, question number 1 it indicates that statement 1 is false okay so you know what is the right statement or, or what is the right acronym so see simple simple points which you should not miss out so when we talk about you know uh, the acronym the acronym stands for american standard code for information interchange it's not intelligent information it is information interchange now see such a small thing and when we talk about yes the binary code if you uh, solve the binary code so definitely the the topic the answer will be this so yes statement number 1 is false whereas statement number 2 stands to be what it stands to be true right okay now coming to question number 2 everyone so let's see what is question number 2 so again we have question number 2 statement questions only so let's see the statement questions are what so it is talking about operating system con controls the peripherals and provides protection against viruses whereas it is saying that in word processing and desktop publishing the terms portrait and landscape refer to page layout now see they have actually given you know all the working knowledge very practical knowledge so in case if you are working on pc computers these things are regularly used but we may not you know we may not be very alert but see now this is what statements they have given they have converted them into the questions and they have given in front of us so yes when we talk about uh, the following option it says that from the given option okay so when we look at the option statement number 1 operating system controls the peripherals and provide uh, protection definitely not 
where as in word processing and desktop publishing the terms portrait and landscape refers to page layout so it is not basically uh, it is it it is basically so landscape it is you know paper it is uh, it is it is talking to with respect to what it is talking to with respect to what not word processing document it is word document so yes the statement uh, both the statement stands to be what both the statement stands to be false right coming to the third question now let's see what the third question is now see in the computer which of the following formats contains the text file format so here they have given the various format so here they are asking us that from the given format i'll just take this question downstairs so that you can see this as a whole question with the options also so which of them is actually a text format okay so in such question now see it is talking about text file format okay so uh, you can uh, come up with the odd man out also it will be easier for you to make sure that you are options are you know uh, cancel very well so yes when it comes to option number 1 so is pdf a text file format definitely not so a is almost out so your option number 1 and option number 4 is out so you have to check your option number 2 and option number 3 so when we talk about option number 2 uh, and 3 so yes we have csv right okay um, then we have gif okay word file yes we have uh, word content in it in gif do we have word content yes or no definitely not uh, image format it is okay rtf and yes text it is all you know pde so option number c also gets eliminated so this stands to be what this stands to be the right option right okay now coming to question number 4 everyone so question number 4 is about again uh, you have a choice uh, questions you have an question questions with the options so let's see in context of powerpoint so we we are talking about a powerpoint presentation which of the following statements are true that objects on the slide that hold text pictures and more are called place holders okay powerpoint automatically opens with window operating system a view that displays the slides of a presentation as a miniature presentation of the slides is called as a slide sorter view now see this is all as i said if you are very very regular with working on the pcs you just you this knowledge is must sometimes in spite of using we are not uh, very familiar with terminologies so this is what they are testing over here so with respect to the given question it talks about what on the objects on the slide the text hold pictures sorry that hold text pictures and more are called place holders yes it talks about the next point it talks about this um whether they are called as place holders or not you need to answer whether they are known as place holders or not so yes they are called as place holders okay ms powerpoint automatically opens up definitely not a view that helps to the give the presentation is called as slide sorter view so option number a and c stands to be what it stands to be correct right now coming to question number 5 everyone okay so we have again two statements over here and both these statements you need to read and come to the right answer fiber optic cables make light uh, use of light pulses to transmit data okay to connect computers in a small building and url text is the text which is used by web browsers to locate a web address so from the given options okay Uh, which statement stands to be correct that is option question number 5 everyone which stands to be true which stands to be right uh, false so fire optic cable makes use of light pulses to transmit data uh, in the most appropriate way to connect the computers in small building definitely not okay and url is the text which is used by tech web browsers to locate a web addressed on the internet so yes statement number 1 is false whereas whereas your statement number 2 stands to be correct is it clear yes uh, tomorrow now yes that's we that's all we have for the day today tomorrow i will be taking some questions from people development and environment so it will be easier for you to you know go through the questions last minute when it revision very well 
so yes for paper 2 also if you are looking for some notes and syllabus you can just refer to us uh, websites uh, sorry just refer to our uh, notes uh, you can check it with the help of the app also details are given you can contact us also fees amount is also given so that you can just make sure that this is all used uh, especially students who are going for the next cycle can also make a good start with the uh, new year new preparation so that you can crack your examination very well that's all we have for the day thank you everyone tomorrow we will see you uh, at 9:30 but tomorrow we'll be having an another important topic that is people development and environment so make sure that you are attending the class yeah thank you everyone